What is going on, guys? For Misery Gaming, I had to get in with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Discussion video, and today it kind of ties in a little bit to JP, but mostly to Global, um, since we do have Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku releasing late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning for the Global community. And we are going to analyze both Kaioken Goku, the new one coming out that is a pullable banner character, as well as the original Agility Super Saiyan Blue Goku that all us old veterans player probably have from our inventory from almost a year ago, believe it or not. But today we're going to talk about its the playability of both cards, as well as how they will match up with... Now we have word officially from JP that Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, will receive a Dokkan for the new Trunks banner that I believe is scheduled to release in a few days, shortly after we get Kyoken Blue on the JP side. Now, granted, this is all speculation of what Vegeta will actually do, which versions of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta will actually doke on, etc. Um, there is no confirmation of which elements. I would assume, at for sure, the physical Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Vegeta will doke on, since we did get the dokans of both uh, of both the Gokus, of both the Goku and Golden Frieza that are the nucleators. So I think it's safe to say we'll have a similar effect for the physical Blue Vegeta. But he's not really the topic of discussion. The topic of discussion is the STR and agility of how they will match up with the new with the Gokus we are getting on Wednesday. But anyway, so Kaioken Blue Goku, if you guys, most people know what he does. But anyway, he is, his stats for when he's Dokkan is 85, 50 HP, 9300 attack, and 4475 defense. And so his passive is he gets 10,000, I believe it's, it's, uh, uh, hang on, um, 10, I'm sorry, 10,000 defense and 20,000 attack, um, for the first 10 turns of the battle, and he's an immense, da immense damage multiplier, um, let me, um, so unprepared, <laughs> uh, immense damage, okay, so immense damage multiplier, and he sacrifices 5% HP when he supers. So his main draw, though, is obviously his links his, and the fact that he can be a little bit of a tanker because of how high his defense goes. His defense then goes up to 1475 base. Now, this is we're not including Super Vegito lead or anything else. We're purely going off of links, passive, and their own attributes. So, so he will obviously have much higher defense with the Super Vegito lead, but base he will have almost 1500 defense, which is insanely high while his passive is active. Now the reason why he's uh, why he's desirable is because he has the best key links in the game with over and a flash, shocking speed, fierce battle, and prepared for battle. Now that's that's why Kaioken Blue is an amazing unit. He also does share the Warrior Gods link, which gives I believe that's a uh, I believe that's a one twelve hundred attack. So Warrior Gods, he's going to link up with all the Blue Vegetas, and as well as all of the uh, Blue Goku's have that, as well as the other two forms. So now let's get into the blue, the original blue Vegeta, the original blue, blue Goku. I'm so sorry, I don't know why I'm having trouble talking today. But, okay, so the original blue Goku gets a massive, massive upgrade from the original card. So he's going to get a 100% attack multiplier. 100% attack multiplier. Now the only problem is he only goes supreme damage. He does not go to an immense damage multiplier. So that's the only huge draw, like as far as his super attack and passive goes. Um, his final stats when he Dogons is 9, 9113 HP, 84, 85, 44 attack, and then 4117 defense. So they're kind of similar on stats. Um, I mean, the original blue will have more HP, the Kaioken will have more attack. So obviously, that's just on their base stats go. So as far as for uh, Link's upgrade, he gets Fierce Battle and uh, Prepared for Battle. So he does get two key link with most of your units. You're going to be running on mono AGL, including even when we get Goku Black, uh, Super Vegito, things like that. So that's where he goes there. So what we're going to get into now is the other link. So if we look at Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, he pretty much shares every single link with Super Saiyan Blue Goku outside of Kamehameha. So here, if we look at Warrior Gods, it's going to give him 1,200 attack. If we look at Super God Combat, which... Kaioken Blue does not have, but it's a 15% attack increase. Then we have a Resurrection of F-Link that gives another 700 attack increase. Then we go into Fierce Battle, which is another 15% attack increase. So, if you want to do the, the math, we have a 8544 attack that's going to get a 30% 
it's actually going to get a 40% increase from Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, and uh, Super God Combat. Then you're going to add another uh, 1900 base attack increase because of Warrior Gods and Resurrection of F to both units. Now then we are, then was when we get into the passive abilities, which is 100% multiplier for Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And here's what I think is going to happen with Blue Vegeta. Obviously, we don't have the release of what his card will do if he even does get a Dokkan. So this is purely speculation. But if they follow the trend to what happened with this guy on Super Saiyan Blue Goku, it would make sense that he would go up from a 60% passive on his attack and defense to an 80% passive attack and defense. And then hopefully... Praying, praying, he doesn't get the shaft, and he will go up to a supreme modifier as well as what this Goku got. So that's gonna that's gonna make a huge bit of difference to this Vegeta. So that's where we're gonna be there. So that's why we have to think. Okay, so this is pretty much wrapping everything up. The STR Vegeta, we just put him on here just because he is a card. Obviously, there isn't a Super Saiyan Blue Goku that's STR. So that's really not tying into the discussion. We're mostly talking about the Mono AGL system of these three units here. So basically, we have to see. So is it worth it in the end to have Kaioken Goku? Or is it better to hold off in the long-term longevity? Will the Super Saiyan Blue Goku possibly combination with the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta make the better Mono AGL team? Now also to keep in mind, which we're not going to divulge too much into this, simply because I don't play JP. But the dupe system is a huge factor, which favors more on Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and that's simply because Kaioken Goku has raw stat increases of 20,000 attack, whereas this Goku has percentages, which percentages in the long term, especially that his is triggered the time of the super attack, not at the start of the turn, which means you multiply all the links on top of the leader skill and everything else, then you add a 100% modifier onto that as opposed to strictly at the start of the turn. His is gonna activate before links happen, which is a huge deal. So just from what I've been hearing uh, through the other YouTubers, it's been about a 70% increase, not counting anything that Vegeta is gonna give to them that with the dupe system, I think when they're talking about the dupe system, max, in max increases and things like that, that this Goku puts out more damage. So that's what we have to consider. Now, granted, the blue Kaioken does have other draws. He's better. He's a better tanker. He has a higher defensive stat, and he links better. So with Super Vegito, he pretty much auto supers with him, whereas this Goku only has Fierce Battle, Super Saiyan, and Prepared for Battle. So that's what we have to consider. But for people who have both already, is it worth it to invest all your stones on this banner coming up on Wednesday for Kaioken Goku, or is it better to save for banners like Buhan, Omega Shinron, Golden Frieza, etc.? Only time will tell of, of whether this Vegeta will get the Dokkan or not. Hopefully we'll find that out by the end of the week or next week on the JP side. But anyway guys, just wanted to bring this quick video just to kind of bring a discussion for you guys. Like, what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to rock the Kaioken Goku or the original Super Saiyan Blue? And will your opinion change down the road if this guy does get a Dokkan? So definitely we'd like to hear comments below. Start up a discussion. What you guys think is better? Uh, personally, since I am a YouTuber, I will be pulling on this banner as well as Buhan. So... Uh, you know, I and I definitely would be probably favoring the Kaioken Goku, at least in the early starts, until we get the dupe system and possibly this guy to see what is the better card. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a like down below and definitely give any feedback discussion about this new banner coming up for Global and the possible Dokkan of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a great one. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.